Welcome to this short video regarding threshold settings for Wallboard FX. As you can see, we are on the Display Management page in the Admin section, and I'm going to demonstrate how we can set threshold on any display. We can see the threshold option at the top right side of the Q View section. We have five CSQs, Sales, Engineering, etc., already configured on this display. I'm going to click on the Threshold button. Here you can see all configured CSQs are available. I want to set thresholds on the Engineering CSQ, so I will select this and click on the Add Threshold button. We will see a pop-up window. First, we need to set the type of threshold where you have the choice of minimum or maximum. This means the threshold will be triggered if it passes a minimum or maximum value. I will choose the Minimum option. Next, we need to select from the drop-down menu the data parameter we want to configure the threshold for. I want to add a threshold to available agents. You can only select data parameters through this drop-down, which we have previously added in the QView configuration. Now we need to set the warning value. I'm going to set it to zero, and we click OK. If you are unsure how to configure the QView and the display, please view our display management video. And we can put higher mid and max values, so Wallboard FX will pre-notify you in two different colors before reaching our defined threshold value. If there are no available agents, we will be prompted by the red threshold color. For one agent, the color will be orange, and for two agents, you will be notified in a peach color. Let's save the configuration. Let's go to the real-time display page, where we can see the UFX display. Currently, there are no available agents from the engineering CSQ. So the defined threshold figure is showing us the available agent section as zero and is flashing in red. So we can change one agent level from not ready state to ready state. So now we can see that one agent is available and the color has changed to orange. So let's bring on another agent and make them available so the color should now change to peach and we can see this change take effect now. If a third agent is made available, then no threshold would be applicable according to our configuration, so this will now display the default color. Here we have more options for the threshold. From the time span section, we can define the time span when a particular threshold would be applicable. Here I have selected 8 a.m. to 2 p.m. We can add multiple thresholds for the same parameter by clicking on the plus range button. I'm adding one more range with different configuration and the time span section from 3 p.m. to midnight. We have added two thresholds on the available agent's parameter with different configurations, which will be triggered at different time periods. We can also add thresholds on other data parameters. I will choose calls abandoned this time and provide a warning value of five. So in this view, we have created two thresholds for available agents and one for call abandoned parameter and we can add other thresholds to any CSQ. So here we have a remove option where we can remove any threshold by clicking this button or we can clear all thresholds for this particular CSQ and we get a warning box to confirm this action. To confirm configurations, you must click the save button. Thank you for taking the time to watch our short video, and we hope you have found it informative.